Okay, so lately a lot of people have been asking me the same question. Do you miss teaching? Well, as a 17-year veteran of the Miami-Dade County Public School System who transitioned into full-time real estate, the question comes up a lot, especially from those who knew me during my time in education. I taught high school, English, ESOL, and adults to thousands of students at American High and Doral. And the answer to if I miss it is, well, <laughs> no. I do not miss MDCPS at all. Now, <laughs> of course, I love and missed my students and colleagues. Um, and I might be one of those weird people that actually felt that teenagers were cute. But no, seriously, I cherish the opportunity to work with them and impact the young lives and help them to make a future for themselves. And I am eternally grateful for that opportunity. But the truth is... I taught for many years with a little hole in my soul that only grew and grew as time went by. I longed for the opportunity to be a business owner, to own my own business, and the decision to finally leave my stable job and go into the wild west of real estate was not one that I took lightly. In fact, at the time, my husband and I had two babies, both under the age of two, and to make matters even more interesting, it was in the middle of the pandemic. So social distancing and shutdowns, everything, everywhere, everything was uncertain. Um, so it was a really interesting time to leave my job, but it was really, really scary and eventually really rewarding. I absolutely love what I do now. And I still get to teach, but this time about real estate and about creating generational wealth and maximizing home values. And it might sound strange, but I'm passionate about this stuff and I am thrilled to get to share this information with anyone. And I do mean anyone that is willing to listen. <laughs> so I'll never stop teaching. Uh, you can't accumulate 17 years as a teacher in with MDCPS without a passion for seeing people people learn. Um, I remember going to school every day, especially teaching my 10th grade intensive reading and English students. And some of them were really resistant about the standardized tests and doubtful whether or not they'll be able to succeed. And year after year, I had to inspire hope in those kids who felt insecure, disinterested, and often were labeled the bottom 25% of the school. It was challenging, but also incredibly fulfilling to witness these now adults achieve success that they once doubted that they could have. Now, I have the privilege to teach about real estate and inspire people who once doubted that they could even own a home or be successful as homeowners. I aim to give some bigger to a new tribe of homeowners, real estate investors, and business owners in South Florida. And I want them to believe what might seem the impossible. Join me.